cooking. I'm your hostess, Cindy Schumacher. On today's show, we'll be making shrimp and cream sauce, frozen slaw, peppercorn bread, and tuxedo cookie bars. Uh, we're going to start with the bread. I, I'm using a bread machine again, but if you if you want to make the bread, um, I've given you the instructions on how to do it. If you ask for the recipe or go to the to the Valley website, www.valleytal.net, click on the Country Cook and Cow, you'll find the recipes there. But um, I'm going to start with the water. It's uh, one and an eighth cup of lukewarm water. And three and a third cup of bread flour. Two tablespoons of butter softened. One and a half tablespoons of sugar. Two teaspoons of freshly ground peppercorns. I'm using a pepper medley so it'll have a little more color to it. It has a little red, a little kind of golden and, and things like that. Um, one and a half teaspoons of salt. One and three fourths teaspoon of active dry yeast. Okay, I'm gonna run put this on the bread machine. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Blazing fast broadband internet from Valley is now available and better than ever. Let us help you decide which speed is best for you. The 50 meg speed would be sufficient for one to four devices mainly emailing and surfing the web. Our 100 meg speed works great for five to eight devices and multiple users streaming and downloading video. If you have eight devices or more that are simultaneously streaming or gaming, or if you have a medium sized business, the 250 meg speed would work best for you. For extreme heavy home or work from home use, or if you have a medium to large business using 15 or more devices, you may want to consider our 500 meg download speed to fit your needs. And if you're a home or business that needs it all, we have our 1000 meg, 1 gig broadband internet speed. Call our office today at 437-2615 and talk with one of our staff members to pick the speed that's best for you. Okay, we're going to start on the tuxedo uh, bars. I have a half cup of butter melting on the stove here. And to this, I'm going to add one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and one cup of the white vanilla chips. And we want that to melt, so I'm going to kind of stir it in. and uh, just want to, You don't have to stir it constantly, just make sure that you keep an eye on it so it doesn't scald and it doesn't take long to melt so we'll go over to the to the frozen slaw i have a medium head of cabbage that i have washed and and kind of shredded and chopped uh, i sprinkled it with with salt and it says you're supposed to drain it i have really fresh cabbage so it's not oozing or weeping at all so i'm going to go ahead and assemble i have three stalks of celery that i have uh, diced Four green onions with the tops, and uh, a half of uh, green pepper. I know that you're thinking frozen slaw, and it sounds weird, and it actually is kind of weird, but you'll be amazed at, at how refreshing it is, and it's very tasty, and the nice thing is, is you can make a batch of it and, and you put it in the freezer and you bring it out 10 minutes before you want to serve it or you take it to a potluck or whatever and, uh, and then it's perfectly uh, ready to eat. So I've got everything kind of mixed in there. I may have to use a bigger bowl when I actually add the, the dressing. But um, it, it has a very nice flavor. I think you'll find it kind of something kind of fun to try something different. So anyway, um, let's check and see how this is going. Let's check. 
just about there. In my mixing bowl, I'm going to combine a half cup of all-purpose flour and a teaspoon of uh, baking soda. And whisk that together. I always whisk my ingredients just to distribute everything well. that over to a smaller bowl. chocolate mixture with the butter in my mixing bowl and to that I'm going to add one and a half cup of white sugar and this you want to beat for about five minutes. So uh, while I'm beating this we'll take a quick break and then uh, when we come back we'll finish adding the rest of the ingredients very fast. Get three months free access on all lines plus a new 4G smartphone for only $4.99 a month. Two great offers with Valley Cellular. Call Valley today at 437-2615 to take advantage of this great deal. Uh, we're going to add our, a tablespoon of vanilla. And then I have four tablespoons of hot water. I'm going to add that one tablespoon at a time. Now I have four whole large eggs. I'm going to add those one at a time also. the flour. The nice thing about glass bowls, you can actually see down inside and make sure you've got everything nice and 
well mixed. Okay, I'm going to pour in the, the remaining cup of the white chips and the remaining cup of the semi-sweet. And I'm pouring it into a prepared uh, 9 by 13 pan. I preheated my oven to 325 and this will bake for about uh, 30 minutes, 30, 35. Check them at about the 30 mark and see how you're doing. Okay, and we'll make the dressing now for the frozen slaw. I have uh, one cup of white vinegar and one and a half cup of granulated sugar. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of, of celery seed. Give that a little bit of a stir and we'll let that start to dissolve. Now, uh, I'm going to take a quick break and clean up. We'll get the bread out of the bread machine. We'll be right back. Valley is now offering updated digital TV packages and prices. Ask us about the brand new Choice TV package. Call Valley today at 437-2615. Okay, I have the bread out of the bread machine. I'm going to take some diagonal slices in it. And uh, I think I'll do a little bit of a uh, tapping. This is kind of a mixture of some herbs and uh, garlic powder and things like that. I'm going to cover it with plastic. My sister just bought me this uh, fancy little saran wrap distributor. So we'll cover it with a towel and set it aside and, and let it rise. And uh, we're going to pour our little concoction over the slaw. Just going to kind of toss it a little bit. that too and then we're going to freeze it. So we're going to start working on the shrimp. I have two tablespoons of butter that will get melting in the pan here. Get my nylon whisk. As soon as the butter is melted, I'm going to stir in one third cup of all-purpose flour. I'm serving this with linguine. Um, this is another one of those dishes that you have your option of serving it over r white rice or wild rice or if you want to do it over some kind of a potato or, or whatever, even if you want to do something like spaghetti squash. And, you can do that, but I'm going to add my third cup of flour. And now I'm going to add a cup and a half of chicken broth.
I'm going to press in four garlic cloves. Probably aren't going to get a lot of kisses after eating this dish. <laughs> But it's worth it. It's it's delicious. garlic kind of permeate the rest of the broth. Now uh, I'm going to remind you again if you want a copy of any of these recipes and like I always say I hope you do because um, they're tried and true recipes. This is an excellent um, dish very simple to prepare and uh, your guests will love it or, or your family. Um, if you have internet, go to the Valley homepage, www.valleytel.net. You'll find the country cooking column on the right-hand side. Click on that. You'll find all the recipes. If you don't have internet, call the girls at Valley. They'll be happy to help you. While we're cooking this, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Valley Telecommunications, the home team advantage. I'm going to stir in a cup of cream, a half cup of, of uh, minced parsley, two teaspoons of paprika. Here again, that's going to give you the, the deeper color. And salt and pepper to taste. Remember, always err on the side of caution when you're adding salt. And you can always pass the salt shaker so you can't take it out. So I think I'll do uh, just kind of a heaping half teaspoon. Water starting to boil, so I'm I'm going to be cooking uh, about probably 12 ounces of linguine here. That going, and uh, I have to grab a nine by thirteen pan. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to grease the bottom of a nine by thirteen pan. And I'm going to use butter just because with a dish like this, um, the butter is going to enhance it a little bit. Now the recipe actually called for raw shrimp and, and um, it's hard to find raw shrimp in our area. So I'm using the pre-cooked shrimp, two pounds. I've removed the tails. We're going to spread it out in here. So we're basically going to be warming the shrimp and, and kind of using the sauce to, to penetrate it for the flavor. I'm going to cover it. put this in the oven for about 15 minutes at 350 and uh, we'll, 
We'll get cleaned up here. We'll be right back. Internet is here. Valley now has higher broadband speeds of up to one gigabit. Get the bandwidth you need for all your devices at one time. Gaming with no lag time. Video stream your favorite movies instantly in HD quality. Video chat with friends and family without interruption. Download your favorite music and photos in seconds. All on our 100% fiber optics network. Valley offers managed Wi-Fi and backup services too. Bringing together all the services you need. Valley Telecommunications Cooperative. Okay. Um, like I said, you can serve this with, with whatever if you want to do rice or or uh, something like that. I'm doing linguine. You can do fettuccine. You can do like a like a spinach fettuccine would be really pretty. Got our frozen slaw. Just if you're wondering, I, I used, a, I added a little orange uh, pepper to it, so that's why there's a little bit of an orange color in there. And there you go. We have our shrimp and cream sauce, our frozen slaw, our peppercorn bread, and our tuxedo cookies. Thank you so much for joining us today on this edition of Country Cooking. We hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.